Thank you, John. And uh, just want to say that I'm very excited about this recruiting class. I'm excited about <clears throat> just in general the 2013 uh, Indiana State football team and uh, excited about our coaching staff. And I think kind of today the two things that we're going to focus on is you're going to get to know our coaching staff a little bit and you're going to get to know a lot about this class. Uh, one of the things, just like John said, we uh, we ask our, our uh, players to sit in the front of class. So if you want to see this video and see these players, uh, you may want to move up a little bit as we go along. Uh, but I'm very excited about this coaching staff that, that we have. And as we go along here, uh, I'm actually going to have them come up and talk about players that, are, that you're going to be seeing on the video. So uh, I will be uh, introducing them as we go along. Uh, First thing I'd like to do is, is do some thank yous here to some people that helped us in the recruiting process. Uh, first of all, our athletic director, uh, who is at an, another event, and he'll be sticking his head in and out of here, Ron Prettyman. I uh, uh, appreciate that. John Sherman, who just introduced me. Uh, thank you, John, for all you've done in our transition. Angie Lansing, uh, who has been a great person uh, for our staff as we've been uh, trying to hire coaches and get them out on the road and get them recruiting and she's done a great job with that. Joel McMullen, uh, Tanya Gimbert and the compliance staff who we have uh, put through a lot of a lot of work in, in uh, the whole process of, of having guys qualified to be able to come on official visits. Katie Gall who set up a lot of our uh, arrangements on our recruiting weekends. Marlon Deschazé, our academic guy who uh, did a great job with his presentations on the on the recruiting weekends. Uh, let me keep going here. Dave McManus and uh, the strength staff. For if, uh, if any of the strength guys raise your hand, appreciate you guys. Uh, they did a great job, and, and uh, uh, we, we had a strength presentation on recruiting weekends, and they did a great job. Uh, Mitch Wasick, our trainer, and the training staff, who, who we did a – they did physicals, and they also uh, – uh, he, Mitch did a great job selling our, our physical therapy program and, and uh, we had a lot of young men that were interested in that program and he was very good. Uh, I want to thank uh, Joe Sanders uh, who kind of went above and beyond the call of duty. Uh, he's also our fa faculty athletic rep and uh, he came in kind of uh, at weird times of the day on weekends, uh, all kinds of weird hours to talk to young men that were interested in business uh, because he's obviously professor in the business school. Um, also want to thank uh, Roger Bear, who's our chaplain. Uh, Roger was a part of every one of our recruiting weekends. We thank him. Bob Elson, our equipment man. Uh, we had a presentation out at the stadium on our equipment in our, in our locker room. Uh, Stacy Green, who is uh, my assistant, she did a great job. Uh, Whitney Neal, is Whitney here? Okay, Whitney did a great job. Uh, like to introduce, he's not going to talk. These two guys aren't going to talk, but they do a great job. Uh, Matt Murphy, uh, who is our director of football operations, right there. And then Alex Kirby, who is our video man. Uh, he has put this video presentation together, and he does a tremendous job. So I just want to thank those people and, and appreciate them. Okay, this class, uh, just making some general comments, and I'm going to be very brief and quick to the point. But uh, we got a late start, obviously. Uh, was hired in December. We had a dead period going on. We had to jump on it fast right after the first of the year. Uh, I went, I had the opportunity during the Christmas holidays to go uh, hang out with my son at the uh, Rose Bowl and go to the Rose Bowl game. And then right after that, uh, came uh, here and uh, started recruiting uh, on the first day that we, we had a chance to make, uh, a, you know, contact with players, which was actually January 4th. Um, but one thing when, with a late start, if you're in a big scramble, uh, one of the things sometimes you might do is lower your standards, and we didn't do that. We didn't lower our standards at all as far as quality of player or, or character. And uh, I think that, that, you know, that says a lot about really about these coaches. Um, I think we got what we wanted. Um, you know, one of the things we felt, you know, obviously we needed, and, and this is still an ongoing process, uh, we needed linebackers, and we signed two in this class. We are still involved in recruiting linebackers, and we cannot talk about those guys. There's there's some more linebackers that we're involved with right now that we're very excited about. I can't talk about them because that's against the rules, but uh, 
there will you, you don't be surprised if we add some some big time linebackers here in the next week or two. Um, we uh, we felt like one of the things uh, we needed to improve our wide receiver core. We wanted to put uh, obviously you know we have a really good running back and. Uh, uh, we wanted to make sure that people weren't able to stack everybody in the box, and we wanted to put get some speed on the outside. And uh, so we, uh, in this class, we signed five wide receivers, and uh, three of which are mid-year players. I'm sorry, three are JC players, two are mid-year players that are already here. Of the two linebackers, uh, one is a mid-year player, and he's already here, and, and I'll let uh, Brian Cabral talk about that. Uh, one of the things, uh, we are heavy in this program right now on um, basically, the senior class is a fairly large class. The sophomore and freshman class are large classes, but we're very light on our junior class. And uh, one of the things that was important to do is to supplement our junior class. And we we signed six JC players, which will uh, those guys will come in as juniors. Um, I would say another theme uh, of this recruiting year uh, was technology, and. Uh, it's an interesting deal, and when you, when you start meeting our coaches, is uh, you, you've got kind of, you know, you've got two uh, grumpy old coaches, and then you've got one one in between guy, uh, and then a bunch of young guys, and uh, the young guys, and I, I'm not going to say who the grumpy old coaches are, but but uh, you know, might be might be one of them that's me, uh, but anyway, uh, but you you've got a lot of young guys, and and we took advantage of that, I think. One of the things I've learned from my son, and one of the you know, I think he bounces a lot of ideas off me. He's a recruiting coordinator at Stanford, uh, but you know, I, I talk to him a lot. And I feel like we can always share ideas, and and the use of technology, the use of uh, social media, uh, we've got to be on the cutting edge with communicating with these young people. And uh, so we have a Twitter coach, we have a uh, a Facebook coach, and uh, and it's interesting uh, some of the things. And as we go along. Uh, We'll talk about it. One thing that I did for the first time, I've been coaching 36 years, and I did the first time that I've recruited a guy on Skype, uh, which was exciting. We, we, uh, we had several Skype visits. It was like, you know, we, he, it was a, our punter, the punter that we signed, and you'll hear more about him later, but he's from Australia, and, uh, and he's an he's a exciting player and, and really good player. He, play, he kicked or punted at Grossmont Junior College in California, but he went back home for Christmas and stayed there, and uh, he's in a place called Perth, Australia, which is uh, uh, in a different time zone than Sydney, for, for those of you that care. And the, the thing that was interesting about that was uh, he was our first signee because uh, they couldn't sign until 7 a.m. this morning. Well, 7 a.m. in Perth was 6 o'clock last night. So uh, we got to... Uh, we got to uh, Get his letter of intent and Skype with him last night at six o'clock with, uh, with he and his and his mum, as he calls her, uh, M U M, not not M O M. So it's kind of interesting. Um, you know, I think one of the things as far as areas uh, we started in the state of Indiana, and that's our focus. We we're going to start close to home, and uh, and that's where we started. We signed four players from the state of Indiana, uh, which is very important to us. And moving forward, we are going to continue. Uh, to recruit the state of Indiana and start there. Uh, neighboring states, uh, we recruited, uh, we signed four kids from the state of Ohio, uh, three from the state of Illinois, uh, basically mostly up in the Chicagoland area. Um, we had some connections on the new staff, uh, one of you know, one of which is, is obviously my background in the West, and we ended up signing five guys from California, uh, which, you know, which we're excited about. Two of those uh, have Midwest ties. One is actually from Detroit, a uh, running back uh, that we'll talk about a little later. He's from Detroit and uh, played junior college out in California. And the other one uh, has a bunch, he's a quarterback from uh, Orange County, California, who has uh, fa a ton of family up in the Chicago area. So, and then the other thing, as I alluded to earlier, is we, uh, we, we, we went really close to home and we went really far away uh, in signing a guy from Australia. So, uh, Anyway, what I want to do is I want to I want to start uh, now with the video.